Hello best friend and uh, welcome welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. If this is the first time you're watching my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day, honey. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, well girl, ding dong bitch, you have found me, okay? So grab a snack and a drink, hit that subscribe button. I would be very grateful. You guys, we gotta talk we got to talk. So first of all, you guys, tomorrow, Sunday, I will be going live for a hangout session with you guys at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So make sure to stop by and say hi. I'm super excited. We haven't done this in a while. So um, I hope to see you there at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard. Um, what else am I, did I have to say, girl? I, I have to say, I had to say one more thing. Anyways, girl, listen, this, this passage of Jamie Lynn's book was sent to me and we got to talk about this. So I saw this, um, it was sent to me and I saw it, uh, it's from Twitter. And listen, I have not read this book, okay? I have not read Jamie, Jamie Lynn's his, his book. I know if you go to the 99 cents or you can find it. Uh, but um, allegedly, and I have to say allegedly because I have not seen it for myself, but allegedly there's this passage on there that if this is true, we got to talk about this. So allegedly, Jamie Lynn says in her book that... Um, uh, Jamie Lynn claims Britney's fame opened doors for her, but her talent made her stay in the business. Dora, where is Jamie Lynn's talent? No, I'm just kidding. Um, let me, we have to talk about this, okay? Because it is actually, um, it is actually insane. In Britney's book, okay, she says how Jamie Lynn is so incredibly, these are not her exact words, but she's so incredibly ungrateful that um, Jamie Lynn complains about, you know, certain things that Britney has got in her uh, and her family, right? And that... Jamie, Britney Spears believes that Jamie Lynn is so incredibly ungrateful and a brat. And she actually called her a bitch bitch, okay? Um, and this is giving very much that. If this is true, of course, I'm going to have to say allegedly. I don't have the book. Uh, so you guys have to, you know, we have to just take it with a grain of salt. But I, I really do believe she did say that. Um, but anyways... I have to tell you guys something. Jamie Lynn Spears, since the very beginning, she looks like that girl in the playground who steals your lunch, pushes you on the floor, and then starts crying to get the teacher's attention and gets you a detention, okay? That's what kind of, she gives me that vibe. And for Britney to say that Jamie Lynn would always complain, and Britney Spears also mentioned that when Britney Spears went back home uh, after the Justin breakup, she noticed just how horrible Jamie Lynn was treating her mother and that her mother wouldn't say anything. She would just, you know, you know, agree to it. Um, I have to say that if it was not for Britney, talent or not, this, this girl would never have, have had a career. And I feel like Jamie Lynn Spears has never given Britney Spears the uh, the appreciation and the the gratitude the the you know the I owe you everything type conversation and statement you know when she was when I I just watched that night nightline documentary and I did the video for you guys um, I watch it so you didn't have to, but they show a clip of Jamie Lynn in the Good Morning America interview, which also I'm going to watch complete so I can spill the tea on that because I know a lot of us have not seen that one. But Jamie Lynn says, you know, that had had Britney um, wanted, uh, uh, had Britney wanted out of the conservatorship, I'm sure, she, you know, I agree she should. And, you know, I, when it started, I was 17 having a baby. I had no idea what it was then and I have no idea what it was now. Those comments that she made, they infuriated me because literally she wouldn't even have a blue check mark on her Instagram. Well, now you can buy it, but you know what I mean? She wouldn't be a verified person on, on social media if had not been for Britney. And at, at some point, you have to you have to understand why people are mad at you. And the fact that Jamie Lynn Spears has not said anything and has not come forward and, and out and say, hey, you guys, you know what? 
I get it. Like, I get why you don't like me. I get why you 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 say this about me, you know. I never, ever encourage anyone to, to call somebody out of their name. You know, I would never sit here and call her, you know, uh, insult her or, or, or insult her children or any, or wish them ill will. I would never do that. That's not up to me, you know. Karma will get you if karma wants you, period, right? All I have to say is that, you know, Jamie Lynn has never shown, in my opinion, a lot of gratitude for Britney. And I feel like Britney Spears has definitely been so incredibly sweet with Jamie Lynn throughout her career. She has so incredibly generously put her always in everything. She even put Jamie Lynn in crossroads to play a younger her. So... I feel like Britney's always believed in Jamie Lynn, and I don't think Jamie Lynn, in my opinion, believed in Britney's freedom or believe in Britney's, uh, you know, uh, chance of having a good life. Jamie Lynn could have gone and done so much more. And if you don't know what the fuck a conservatorship is, get a fucking book or Google it. Ask, ask Alexa. She'll tell you, okay? So I just, you know, these type of like, you know, my talent is the reason that I stayed. No, girl, your last name is, okay? And your last name wouldn't be worth shit if it wasn't for Britney. So I'm so sorry, but that's just, you know, that that that's just where I'm coming from. If this is a true passage, that's another example, in my opinion, just of how ungrateful person that Jamie Lynn Spears is. And that's that and that's on oops, I did it again, girl. Okay. Um Anyways, so yeah, I mean, I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. By the way, also happy Saturday, you guys. What are you planning on having for dinner? I am planning on having very easy, a barbecued grilled chicken sandwich with salad. Like that's all that I I, 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 I want. My husband is currently out of town right now. Um, and so I'm, I'm, I'm alone and, and I, I just, I hate cooking. I really do hate cooking. I think a friend, she's coming over later. I'm not sure. Uh, but I hate cooking for myself. So the past two nights I've had tuna salad, uh, on a sandwich, you know, and call it a day, um, and some popcorn. And today I might just have a grilled chicken sandwich, but I hate cooking you guys so much. Um, so please recommend me something easy, but healthy and also like, you know, nutritional. Um, I just, there's just something about the kitchen. I do love cleaning. I love to clean, girl. I love to clean. Talking about clean, girl. Did you guys see my Clorox review? I put this in my other video, but I'm not sure if you guys are going to watch that. So I'm going to put, I'm going to just put it here too, just so you guys watch. Um, I posted on my Instagram, but I know a lot of you guys don't have Instagram and I don't know who watches which video, so I don't want you guys to miss it. But, um, Clorox reached out to me and sent me a beautiful gift for spilling tea. So I'm going to actually play it for you guys here just in case you haven't watched it, but I love you all very much. I hope to see you guys tomorrow at my live. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for supporting. Thank you guys so much for being so sweet and I'll see you guys tomorrow in our hangout. Mwah. Best friend, look what was waiting for me at home. Clorox sent us a huge freaking gift that we are going to unpack together, you guys. Best friend, so before we get into it, Clorox, thank you so much for thinking about me. And I also went ahead and had my hubby unpack everything so it doesn't take too long, this video. But thank you guys so much. I'm gonna read the card and it says, Hi, Sebastian. Reality TV fans know this weekend will be a memorable and messy one. If there is one thing we know, it's that the messiest moments stem from flipped tables, Teresa, tear-soaked linens, and above all, spilling the tea. Uh, that's why we wanted to provide everything you need for the ultimate viewing tea party to watch the drama unfold. Cheers to all the piping hot tea and messy moments to come. Your friends at Clark's. Thank you guys so much. This is so freaking sweet. Okay, so we're starting off with this amazing blanket. It feels so nice and warm. You know what I would imagine? This is how a hug from Andy Cohen would feel like, bitch. I swear, this just feels so good and warm. Ooh, Andy Daddy Cohen is so sexy. Okay, girl, let's continue with the tea kettle because, girl, you cannot spill tea without the tea kettle, honey. While Teresa's flipping tables, Kenya's gone with the wind fabulous. I'm gonna be spilling all the tea, honey. You know what this is, girl, but it's cold. So I'm guessing it's chocolate, but I have no idea, bitch. It says, La Durie Paris. 
Girl, my French is giving Countess Luanne chic say la vie, okay? Lettery Paris, I love it. Okay, let's see what it, girl, it is macaroons. And look, one, two, three are missing. You see, I told my husband, you could unpack it, but don't, girl, mm -hmm. you know what they say, money cannot buy you class, okay? Okay, cheers, I'm gonna try the chocolate one. I'll look. Mmm. 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 I don't think that was chocolate, bitch. Mmm. Oh. Next, we have a honey pot. I mean, this is giving very much Winnie the Pooh vibes. This is the cutest freaking honey pot ever. I love honey, bitch. But don't get it twisted, girl, because I can go from honey to sour in 2.5 seconds. Like my girl Kenya Moore said, don't come for me unless I send for you, girl. Okay. Now, we have this beautiful pink box, and it's from Kate Spade, so let's see what it is. While we watch everything that's about to unfold with Kyle and Mauricio on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, girl, we can just be sipping the tea, bitch, okay? Ooh! Next, we have David's tea. <gasps> Look at the selection of the tea, girl. There is so many to choose from. Just like all the franchises, there's so many to choose from, honey, but we all have a favorite. What's your favorite Housewife franchise? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much. And I do love me tea, honey. I love to spill it, drink it. I love to bathe in it, girl. I love it all. Best friend, I, mm -mm. This, is, this, is, this is where I draw the line, girl. This is where I draw the line. A candle, a flipping tables candle. Girl, listen. My my daughters, listen, I I love me some Teresa. And when she flipped that table, girl, I was like, this is the queen. My daughters love, 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 love it all. Oh my God, flipping tables candle. Oh, oh, and it smells so bougie. You know what? It smells rich. It smells problematic. It smells dramatic. It smells... Messy. This smells delicious, girl. It is honestly worth flipping a table for. I'm sorry, girl. <laughs> okay. Now we have some mini dry eraser markers so we can count down and we can do a little checks on how many times Tamara and Heather make up, then break up, then have drama, or how many businesses Candy Burris has, or how many times Marisol says, Ay, por favor. Or how many times Vicky Gunvalson is going to try and get back on the OC. Or how many times Meredith Marks is going to be like, husbands. Or how many times Sheena Shea is going to sing good as gold. And last but not least, girl, we have, we have Clorox disinfectant wipes, honey. Because you got to clean this mess, girl. These ladies are so freaking messy. And I'm so here to spill all the tea. Clorox, girl, thank you so much for thinking about me. It is so freaking sweet. And you know, I love what they wrote. They said because spilling the tea happens. Girl, Clarks, thank you so much for thinking about me. I am so incredibly grateful and so, 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 so thankful to be spilling the tea. And now I can clean up all the tea that I spill, girl. Yes! Let's not be tardy for the party and let's get on the Clarks vibe because listen, it is giving chic, c'est la vie, girl, okay?